Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for another time in the Lord. Amen. I know it's been a while that we have actually been airing or been on air, but you know, that doesn't mean that God is not doing a work. Amen. I do appreciate for all your prayers and your love. Amen. And we're able just to go ahead and connect and to be right in there into the Word of God. I'm so excited to be uh, connected with y'all today. Amen. We will be doing some Facebook Live and so forth, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right in there. Um, but I just felt like doing some recording here tonight. Amen. And being able to do that so that way we can go ahead and place it into other areas of our social media status. Amen. So God bless you, and thank you so much for, um, first of all, being an encouragement as well, and to my life, amen. Thank you for your prayers as well, in Jesus' mighty name. You know, I just wanted to share with you tonight, amen, about the love of God, amen. And sometimes there's so many things that we go through as the people of God that we feel like, you know, does God really love us? And sometimes you could say, you know, you felt like you maybe done so much or maybe you felt like you've done so little, you know. But I just want to share with you that God's love is so deep. It's so wide. Amen. It covers every aspect of our lives where maybe we felt that we've missed the mark or we failed the mark. Amen. Or we feel like there's certain areas within our life that are have not been covered completely. Amen. And so I wanted to share with you this um, impact of God's love on how he shares his love to his children. I'm really trying to keep into some good lighting. Amen. Um, so that way we can give a full aspect of his love where he talks about how you know there is a prayer that we can pray as well to be established in this love as well amen i hope that um the 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 song in the background of course is not drowning out um the words that will be shared even here today but as we go into this amen i'm going to be sharing with you first of all the prayer amen and this is a prayer that we could actually pray within our lives to receive of what god has in store for us amen in jesus mighty name the prayer out of the book of ephesians it says for this reason, I kneel before the Father. Amen. You know, we don't actually have to kneel, but that is a show, a remark of not only of ourself, of humbleness unto the Lord, but that we give ourselves unto Him in our time of prayer. Amen. It's helping to show not only Him, but also us from our inside that you know what I'm going to go ahead and humble myself before the Lord and even if that requires for me to get on my knees now people kind of say you don't have to no you don't have to amen you can sit down uh, or you can stand you know wh however you get into your prayer closet that's what I call it amen Whatever that means, literally people have a prayer closet, amen, and they create an atmosphere where they can pray unto the Lord, and that atmosphere of prayer, amen, but here he talks about, for this reason, I kneel before the Father, so see, he's given a personal touch of how he's feeling and where he's at and how he's standing, even as an apostle in the Lord Jesus Christ. So it doesn't matter. You could say how high or how low, you know, or you can say, you know, how wide or, or how not wide. Amen. But he's saying that I've kneeled before the Father. It says, 
from whom the whole family in heaven and on earth he drives he drives its name you know it's something that it's everybody the whole family you know when God calls out a name amen he's calling the whole family I mean it may be the Lopez family it may be the Viesca family it may be the Chavez family it may be that family that God has called out your name Martinez it may be whoever your name is you know God is calling out for the whole family amen in heaven and on earth you know because he collaborates those things together that which is in heaven on earth amen that those things that are in heaven will create here to be upon this earth for our lives that's where we come into the walk of the abundant life in the Lord Jesus Christ check this out heaven and earth that drives its name you know something that drives it's a force it's something that's ordaining it's something that's commanding it's something that's demanding and that's the reason why you know when people say that when we pray we pray in authority that we pray in the love of Christ that we pray with this driving force of in the name of Jesus the importance of using in the name of Jesus amen it says i pray that out of his glorious riches amen he may strengthen you with his power through his spirit in your inner being amen this power of his name i pray out of his glorious riches that he may strengthen you with this power through his spirit you know christ has this strengthening power through his holy spirit amen that he is calling out to each and every one of us of our name it says in your inner being why so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through the faith you know it's something about faith he says that when we have the faith to move the mountains when we have faith as much as a mustard seed that mountain church can be removed you know god is speaking to revive our faith here tonight I don't know your where your faith is at. Amen. But God wants you to begin to once again build up your faith into the ways of Christ and to the things of Christ. Christ has not left you. Christ is for you and he is there to lift you up even out of the Myri Clay Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a shout of praise for that. It says, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you be rooted and established in this love. You know, when we came in, we were talking about this love. And this is the love of God that he wants to establish in our lives for our lives in the love of the Lord so that each and every aspect of our lives that we can carry out this love and establishing not only his word but his love all around the town <laughs> all around in our lives all around come on church in this whole wide world it's such a blessing amen to know that he is saying establish this in the love hallelujah may it says may have power power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep is this love of christ for our lives hallelujah 
It doesn't matter how wide, how long, how high, how deep, that this love of Christ, I know this. I know this love that surpasses even this knowledge. Check this out, church. We can have a lot of knowledge, but if we don't have this love, this is the love of Christ that Christ is saying. This is the love that not, I mean, we can only imagine for ourselves the love that we have for our children, the love that we have for our brothers and sisters in the Lord, the love that we have. But the love that Christ has for us, it's much more greater with deeper roots. Come on now. It is so long. It is so high. It is so deep. It is the love that Christ, that it's a love that surpasses all knowledge. Come on now. That is so wonderful that you may be filled to the measure of all full to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now, that itself is a mouthful to me. Amen. Because he is saying, I want you to know this love. I want you to know this surpassing love. This love, it surpasses even all the knowledge. I want you to think of all the theologists. I want you to think of all the books of the whole wide world. I want you to even think of the word of God and the knowledge of all that it obtains. We can obtain this all head knowledge, but if we have no heart knowledge of this love, of this surmountable love, he said, I filled you to this measure of all of this fullness of God, hallelujah. That is such an awesome knowledge of his word. Now I'm coming in, I'm coming in, I'm coming on in. It says, now to him who is able, come on now, who is able to do unmeasurable. He says, more than all that we could ask or even imagine, even according to his power that is in work, Within us, God is working this awesome power within us. Anything that we could ever even ask, anything that we could ever imagine, anything that we could ever think. He's saying this is the glory in the church that is working with.